my name is Carrie Cottle and welcome to Read Aloud with Ms. Cottle. Today we are reading the important book Red by Michael Hall. Enjoy! Red, a crayon story by Michael Hall. Published by Green Willow Books. As told by me, pencil. He was red. But he wasn't very good at it. Oh dear. His teacher thought he needed more practice. I'll draw a red strawberry. Then you draw a red strawberry. You can do this, really. But he couldn't, really. Like this? Oh my, let's try again. His mother thought he needed to mix with other colors. Why don't you two go out and draw a nice round orange? A really big one. A really orange one. But they made a big greenish one. Yuck. Oops. His grandparents thought he wasn't warm enough. Your class is making self-portraits for parents' night. Wear this warm scarf. Nice, it's so you. But it so wasn't. Oh dear me. Red. Everyone seemed to have something to say. Sometimes I wonder if he's red, really red at all. Don't be silly. It says red on his label. He came that way from the factory. Frankly, I don't think he's very bright. Well, I think he's lazy. Right. He's got to press harder. Really apply himself. Give him time. He'll catch on. Of course he will. But he didn't catch on. Green frog, black sheep, brown cow, red ack. All the art supplies wanted to help. The masking tape thought he was broken inside. This will help hold you together. The scissors thought his label was too tight. One snip should do it. I thought he wasn't sharp enough. Stay still now. But even with all our help and all his hard work, I just couldn't get the hang of it. One day, he met a new friend. Will you make a blue ocean for my boat? Uh, I can't, I'm red. Mm, will you try? So he did. Thank you, it's perfect. You're welcome. It was easy. And he didn't stop there. Blue jeans, blue bells, blue bird, blue berries, blue whale. <gasps> I'm blue! He was red, mm, scratch that out, blue. And everyone was talking. My son is brilliant. Who could have known he was blue? I always thought he was blue. It was obvious. His blue ocean really lifted me. 
All of his work makes me happy. His blue strawberries are my favorites. He's so intense. I'm going to make a green lizard with him, a really big one. I hear he's working on a huge new project. He's really reaching for the sky. And he really was. The end. That was Red. Do you know someone who was born a certain way and always felt that way but maybe didn't look like it on the outside? Maybe you don't know someone like that yet, but odds are you will at some point in your life. Or maybe you do know someone like that, but they haven't been able to share that with you yet. Being able to be truly, completely yourself and honest with the people that you know and love is such an important part of being human. Let us all embrace each other for who we truly are. Thank you and take care of each other.